It's the nature of the beast. It's the name of the game. And... I slime make food. Yes, you want slime make foods. So you want to make slime food? What are you doing? You're poking me. You want to talk to the people? Pokes. Yeah, pokes. Yeah. You're poking me. Guppy, say hi, boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. Say hello, lads and ladies. Hello, <laughs> so, welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies. This is my life. I take care of my girls and a little boy coming in June. And, of course, my beautiful wife. And in between doing those things... I play video games, and I try and find a few excuses every now and then to get out of the house for limited periods of time. Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies, and welcome to what I'd like to call a hangout video. Our communication is somewhat one-sided, I know, but I had a lot of fun yesterday playing my absolute golden 3.0 USSR lineup. A lot of Lend-Lease vehicles there. Uh, fun things that work together in an interesting way. The result of my habits as a collector and as a participator in events. First up, the perpetually enjoyable uh, BT7F32. I think that's what it's called. It's the one with the 76 millimeter cannon in the turret that you find on that Soviet land ship from the regular tech tree. But there really is something special about the Christie tank already. I have a special place in my heart for this tank design, partially because it came from a somewhat eccentric American who designed a tank on his own, knowing that America was going to need tanks. It's the spirit of American initiative. Uh, yet the country was rather poor at that time uh, on the tail end of the Great Depression. And the American government was not interested in acquiring a huge arsenal of weaponry. Uh, instead, <laughs> we were shipping guns to the belligerent powers of World Wars I and II and holding off on the sidelines until our uh, allies really got tired of us sitting this one out. <laughs> but... The Christie tank is just one of those stories of American capitalism that warms my heart. And the closest thing to the Christie tank that you can find in War Thunder, by the way, Gaijin, please, I would love a Christie tank for the American tree. As an event vehicle, it would be perfect. Uh, you can find uh, a prototype of the Christie tank in history that had a 37 millimeter armor piercing gun like you see on all of the rank one American vehicles more or less and it has what is essentially a sleek design of the BT-5 when it comes to the tank itself and I would just love to see that it's so cool and it would also be a chance, Gaijin, you, you nardbargles, <laughs> to update the suspension model of the BT-7 and the BT-5. Because every model of BT tank in War Thunder is bugged to all hell when it comes to how the suspension works. Uh, <laughs> you mash go, and there's about a 50% chance, and I've talked about this before, but it's just a common pet peeve that doesn't need to happen. Uh, you mash go, and one of your tracks will initiate as though you mashed left or right on the go button, when really you mashed that good old W. And then you have to activate the other track to unfuckery the suspension and get yourself going in the right direction. It's just annoying, and it's not a feature, it's a bug, and it's been in the game for ages, and anyway, this is not a bug report, 
I'm tired of doing those. Sorry, I got off topic a little bit. This is a lineup that I really enjoy, and it's derpy, and it's not the strongest in the game, but at 3.0, you're at a battle rating where the competition is a little bit less extreme. I say a little bit less extreme, because the M16 is a fantastic SPAA at this battle rating, and it's also very capable of taking down light tanks, as you saw. But look at this lineup. This is, I think, the only regular tech tree vehicle I have. It's mommy water. You want mommy water? Okay, go get a bottle, baby. Are you watching? Maybe I go get it. Okay, guys. I talked about how I have to do things, and now I have to go do something. Okay, I'll go get it, baby. Okay. I got some mommy water for the Bebulon, and she's back to watching her videos on her tablet right behind me, as no doubt you can hear. <laughs> so we're back to hanging out. I better get to the point of this video. I guess the first point is, I missed you guys, and I hate the bugs in War Thunder. <laughs> so, my point for this video is that I love collecting premiums. The rewards are great. I love just growing in power and wealth. Watching those numbers go up uh, gives me a firm little rigid on my EP. Uh, but what is another reason to collect low tier premiums? Uh, obviously, low tier is fun tier. You live, you die, you build a great lineup, uh, you just have a good old time. And uh, a whole lot of nothing is happening during this part of the video, so I sped things up for you. I got in a perfect position in my Valentine, and nobody wanted to be my Valentine until an M16 drove up to give me sweet revenge and a nice little kill. Uh, you can see they'd been pestering me a bit during this match, so it was nice to give them their comeuppance, if you know what I mean. And it's coming up uh, that you'll see what I'm talking about. In any event, why do I enjoy collecting premiums in War Thunder? Uh, I have a problem, and that is that this game is both the best game and the most infuriating game that I've ever played. Uh, this should be no surprise to players of War Thunder that there are, what is it, thousands of vehicles now? And the game is just so ridiculously vast that you're basically guaranteed to find something you personally love in this game. The unfortunate thing is that because the game is so vast, there's literally no way to make a game this size and this complex and diverse and have it function properly. And, you know, we talk about things like uh, a client stability update, if they could just take the time off of adding new vehicles and make the game function properly. You know what? It's already beyond that point. It is, it is practically impossible to fix the bugs in this game at this point, because think about it. The way this game is programmed, we've seen it. This is a spaghetti code game, right? So, without getting any further into things, because man, I could really sink into this. <laughs> but the thing that drives me nuts about War Thunder is also the thing that makes it so great. And that is that it's literally so vast that there's no way to ruin this game. I mean, you could if you really tried. Client stability is a big way to run it, but hush, 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 hush. There's no way to ruin this game, and there's no way to fix it. So how do I, how do I ease the torment of my soul that happens as a result of the jankiness of this game? I collect premiums. It's what I do. Okay, I'm a, I'm a sellout. I'm a buyout. Gaijin's selling, and I'm buying.
and I will spend like $50 on some shiny new premium and I'll play it. Don't tell my wife. I'll play it like four times and then I'm done with it because I'm sick of it because it's high tier and that's not fun tier for me. So why do I do these crazy things? I don't know. Look at how fun the BT7 F30 whatever it is is. Even with its bugs, it's sort of like it's sort of like a puppy that has really bad teeth. You know, like maybe they got knocked in the jaw when they were little. Some some jerk head like kicked them in the mouth, and their teeth are all jank for the rest of their life. And they like have dental problems, and and they drool all over the place because they can't like get a proper mouth seal. But they're like also kind of adorable because they're a puppy. And that's every BT7 in the game. <laughs> They're so adorable. They're so great. This one's a premium, so I love it. And it's also just broken for the rest of its life. And it ends up being... Okay, baby, I'll shut the gate. Guppy's reminding me that I need to secure the area so that baby sissy, who's actually taking a nap right now, can't get in. And uh, where was I going with this one? You know what? You just fall in love with the bugs in War Thunder. And at low tier, uh, I just like low tier. That's for me. Why do I collect premium tanks? Because I, I never know when they're going to get fun again. And when I get sick of one part of War Thunder, and I will, or when I get tired of, of playing one lineup of tanks and this happens on a daily basis I'll have that many more things to jump over to when I get sick of a certain area of the game and I've put I've put so much cash into this game I've put a lot of money into this game but you know what I do I talked earlier about how I make excuses to get out of the house and I need to do that because I'm a stay-at-home kind of person but Everybody needs to get outside and get active sometime. I need to do that now. I'm getting over this chest cold, so I got no excuses. But what I do is I go out and I mow lawns. And there's just a, a few people that I have, uh, I guess you could say, contracts with. There's nothing written down between us, right? But they're like, hey, you come over and you mow the lawn and we give you the monies. And that is money that I put into War Thunder. It's pretty much all I do with that money, actually. <laughs> Other than fix my cars, which is getting so expensive. Jesus, ridiculous. I don't have time to do this mechanic stuff, and I don't. I can't afford to mess up, so I hire a professional. And they charge very reasonable rates, but you're looking at like four to six hundred dollars for some repairs that have to happen, and you're just like, Urgh! anyway adult problems i know but basically this game is what i spend my money on and it gives me an excuse to go mow lawns for people which is good for them and good for me and i spend that money mostly on low tier stuff i love the low tier things but you're also talking to a guy who bought the ka 50 played it for a while didn't like how easy it was which is <laughs> kind of kind of the opposite of why I stopped playing a lot of the other top tier stuff and I just have it sitting in my hangar a beautiful $50 well wasted but the low tier stuff uh, this BT7 F32 free it's the only thing it cost me is time and honestly I feel like I'm doing a lot better balancing my family time and giving attention to my girls. You can see I even jump away from making videos uh, to go do what they need to do. <laughs> and the demands, the demands are increasing. So I feel like I'm balancing out family time a lot better. Can we stop? Can we stop? Nope. No, no breaks on the Stellidium train. So uh, the events in War Thunder, I thought that they would consume my life more than they do. Uh, but one, they're a lot easier than they used to be, and and two, every time I think it's going to take forever, if I just play the event when I can, I'm not the most busy guy in the world, and I manage to be able to, to get what I need to get. There's only been a couple of times that I've been like, I'm going to take a few days off, 
and just buy the talisman or buy the star. You know what I'm talking about. And those have always paid off well for me. You can see that I have a few event vehicles in this lineup, and they're a lot of fun. And then these low rank premium vehicles, they're cheap, man. They're like five, ten bucks, half that when they're on sale. And whenever there's a major sale in War Thunder, I just look at the low tier premiums that I haven't gotten yet, and I throw a few bucks at the TV screen and see what I can pick up. And a lot of this stuff, I don't even play it for a long time. But then it's just like uh it's just like a little a little window in your advent calendar. You open it up, you get some fresh chocolate, and you see what it can offer. And I just have this thing in my brain that I like getting RP and Silver Lions even if I don't need them. So playing a premium vehicle even if I don't do well is twice as fun as playing anything else. And that's I think that's something that's wrong with me. But it's definitely something that's up with me, and it's not going to change anytime soon. So, to remind everyone, the point of this video is that premium vehicles are fun, and low-tier premiums are more fun than high-tier premiums. You can buy happiness in War Thunder. You just have to buy a lot of it and stop playing the things. To, where do you? Where are you going? Stop throwing tomatoes. I mean, come on. Let's be honest here, right? If it didn't work, it wouldn't be. It it wouldn't continue the way it is. It, it's obvious to everybody that premium vehicles are what really makes the money for Gaijin in War Thunder. And let's be honest. It's a pretty sweet deal. So, what am I saying? Am I encouraging you guys to sell out, to go premium? Well, I'm telling you that that has been one of the things that keeps this game fun for me. I love the rewards. I love the vehicles. I love the cross-nation uh, premiums because you're able to put a vehicle into a meta that it doesn't experience when it's in the other nation. The fact that those are premiums, well, I, I just, I like getting a little something spicy for my money. You know what I'm saying? And it really is the premium vehicles. Look at that beautiful kill. Now, this is actually uh, the premium Chica, just so you know, is worse than the regular tech tree chica is that wild or what but the 20 mils are the worst 20 mils in the game uh for realsies the the a the he does fuck all to enemy planes sparkles for days and you'll just watch these rounds hitting the enemy plane and we're talking like 20 hits with he on a fighter and it it'll yellow their wing. I'm not even exaggerating. You can see it happen when I use HE with this thing, but I use uh, AP belts primarily. I think the stealth belts have a lot of AP. That, that's Yeah, that's what I'm rocking with this thing. And they're still trash as well. And you compare that with the Shikas machine guns that you get on the regular tech tree variant. And I think by two or by four is how these things are equipped. And you freaking shred uh, fighters. Like this this guy would be dead long ago. Look at the beautiful hits we're getting on it. Look at all those sparkles. Yeah, nothing for damage. But you know what? You take people down eventually. It's actually a struggle bus as a premium. Uh, and yet... You get double rewards. So guess what I'm doing? Guess guess what your boy Toshio is going to fly? The premium that struggles, uh, but is still a great little aircraft. It Just look at that. It struggles. Can we admit that it struggles? Because that looks like a struggle to me. That would have been a kill with 50 kills. It would have been a kill with Shikas yeah, machine guns. Probably. Uh, it wasn't to kill that time now, was it? <laughs> and if those were German 20 mils, if those were even um, Hispano or um, the American versions, the AN cannons, I'm pretty sure I would have set fire 
to that uh, Stuka. But we're looking at, you ready for this? Shivak, 20 mils with 10 millimeters maximum penetration on the AP because they don't get the fancy Shivak rounds that higher battle rating aircraft get. And this sits at a 2.7. So, anyway, it's just a cute little struggle bus. Again, it's a puppy that got kicked in the mouth but it still does really cool things every now and then with those AP rockets at low tier. Did you see that kill? That's like the only kill I've gotten with the AP rockets uh, this day. Uh, but you know what? I was having a blast anyway. Look at the way this thing can just like chase people down and be a little bugger. And you're going to love, you're going to love what I do with this uh, Doe 217 attacker. It's It's just... You'll see. It's fun. So we've blacked an engine. He's uh, not even critted, but it'll be a crit eventually as that damage continues to carry on. And look at it the way he's flying. He's, he's defensive flying in a very dangerous way. I expect him to crash anytime soon, but I'm going to put the pressure on him here. He doesn't know I'm out of ammo, and he slams into a mountain. Beautiful. I just needed to distract him a little bit, right? I'll take credit for that, but... I think he wasn't the I th I think he had some things to learn from that encounter. And what have you learned about me today? I love to ramble on. I I literally buy happiness in this game. I am a whore, okay? I admit it. But this is just this is just what I like to spend my money on, okay? This is my grass cutting money. So good things happened before I handed it over to the abomination that is Gaijin, okay? Daddy! And, yes, baby. I know what the one is the one that is the one that is the one that is the outside. But this is but why Yeah, and water? But white on the pipe. There's a bunch of water and there's a pipe outside? Yeah. Wow, that's very interesting. How do you know this, baby? I go take a look. You go take a look? Okay, baby, you go take a look. She's climbing up into the window. I she see she sees it. She sees outside. There's a I pipe and there's a pipe. bunch of water and I think she's talking about the gutters. <laughs> so this is yeah, by the way, this is a hangout video right? Watch how the Chica lands. It's an interesting little airplane. Very nose heavy. Um, but something, something tells me that uh, the flight model and the, the way this thing lands is just a little bit wonky. Uh, but maybe this is historically accurate. Let's, let's take a look at what happens here. <laughs> what do you guys think? Was that me? It was probably me. That probably would have happened in real life, right? Right? Anyway. War Thunder is never going to function perfectly. In fact, I, I think we've seen sort of the, the balance of how this game functions. I'd like to see better overall functionality, especially with things like uh, client server stability that have really suffered since about the time that heat-seeking missiles were introduced into the game. I think, I suspect uh, that there is a lot more transfer of data between client and server with heat-seeking missiles and trying to optimize that has caused overall uh, server stability to go way down. But that's just, you know, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. What it really means is that your experience in War Thunder is going to be a little bit glitchy and uh, for everything that you play it affects that. And that's been that's been tough on me. So I feel you uh, when the game starts lagging out the way you see it doing there. That's server side. That's the whole match lagging out like that. And uh, it's only killed me a few times. But it inconveniences me constantly. And I know you guys that have been playing War Thunder have experienced the same thing in your own matches. You have, right? It's not just me. I'm not crazy. So, <laughs> what do I do about that? There's nothing I can do, man. Like, 
It's not like I need to report this in a bug report. Not that I'm doing that anymore. God knows I'm done with bug reports. I couldn't even find where to do that on the forums last time I tried because uh, I'm just not really familiar with the forums. The only time I go there is to report bugs. So I've been there a few times, but I'm done reporting bugs. And do you think that this is something that the Gaijin devs are very, very aware of. But it takes a lot to get these things to function properly, especially when you're introducing new mechanics into the game constantly, as you see with moving forward into modern vehicles. So there comes a time where you can complain about the weather, but you just got to realize this is the state you live in, right? I live on the Oregon coast. If you piss and moan about the rain, you are invited to shut the fuck up because we know about the weather, okay? It is the way it is, and your bitchin's not going to fix it. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, You shoot off a few comments to Gaijin to let them understand that we would like them to make that a priority, but then you stop letting it affect you because eventually... If, if you let this negativity keep rolling, it's just going to kill your joy in the game. And what you got to do is you got to be a big man and put on your man pants and make a decision. Are you willing to accept the game for what it is? Or are you not? Okay. That's a little bit of a <laughs> look at this janky section, right? Do you see some things that can be a little bit, a little bit triggering in this video? <laughs> Some, some issues that have been going on with the game for a while. And you know what? You get that hot little shot of rage and anger when things don't go the way you want them to go. And then you ditch it. And you get on with your life. And you adapt. And you overcome. War Thunder right now is still an environment where you can have fun and you can do well. And you can do it with the incredible number of regular tech tree vehicles that provide an extremely diverse gameplay experience for free. You can whore yourself out like I do and collect premiums and go from playing one to another. And if you're not having fun in one place, well, by golly, you just go to another place. You can have fun in War Thunder. And you can also hate your life in War Thunder and it comes down to a decision. Are you going to accept this thing the way it is or not? Are you going to decide to have fun? Or are you going to just be angry? And if you're just going to be angry, like honestly, be real with yourself. There's a better game for you to play. There are some beautifully crafted, well-functioning multiplayer, single player. Pick what you want. There's, there's great games out there. The problem is, the problem remains, none of them are exactly like War Thunder. There's nothing quite so diverse, and the reason War Thunder is a steaming pile of shit half the time is because it's bigger than you could possibly make a game and have it function properly. Gaijin is committed to making the most diverse, what is this? We'll call it sim light, very light, <laughs> combat vehicle experience that they can. And they've done their thing consistently for years. The fact that this game is buggy, uh, the fact that this game has bugs that have persisted for years, that could be fixed if they got the attention that they need, is a result of the fact that the developers of this game have been consistently passionate about introducing more new material than they can handle. That is the identity of this game. So, accept it for what it is. And jump around until you find something you love and don't feel bad when that thing gets shat on by the next major update or by BR or economy changes. It's the nature of the beast. It's the name of the game. 
And... Yes, you want slime make foods. So you want to make slime food? What are you doing? You're poking me. You want to talk to the people? Yeah, pokes. You're poking me. Guppy, say hi, boys and girls. Say hello, lads and ladies. <laughs> You're kind of cute, and I love you. My two-year-old has been here hanging out with me while I record this video. And, uh, yes, she's poking my hand. Okay, you gave me a shot. What's my blood sugar level, baby? I'm a swan. You're a swan? You are a beautiful swan, baby. I'm a swan. Oh, slime. Okay, well, you're a beautiful slime. I, uh, I still call her baby, even though she's two and a half years old. Uh, and very, very grown up. <laughs> Beyond the point of being a baby. But you know what? She'll always be my baby. And the BT series of tanks, they'll always be my baby too. Anyway, this video has gone on and on. And it's really just been a ramble video for me. I, let's be honest here, I love the sound of my own voice. My mom once asked me, you think I talk just to hear the sound of my voice? And I know for a fact that she does. So I said yes. And I like, I actually saw stars when she slapped me. <laughs> and I deserve that one. Totally worth it. You know what? Sometimes it's worth the pain. And War Thunder is a game that is worth the pain still for me. And yet, I take a break when it gets too much for me. This game drives me nuts sometimes, and I've learned that when it's driving me crazy, don't don't be a man and just like push through it. There's no reward for that, right? You're just gonna piss yourself off. It's better to take a break and play a different game and then get that get that longing you know absence makes the heart grow fonder and then when you do come back to war thunder with roses and chocolates and say i'm the one that was wrong even though you know for a fact that she was when you do come back you come back to those low tier premiums that are so fun and rewarding to play you stock up another million silver lines that you don't need and then you try getting into the new stuff and you re-experience what a shit show top tier is one more time. <laughs> you realize once again that Gaijin is selling top tier premiums that are better than the regular tech tree counterparts and you accept it for what it is. Welcome to Whore Thunder. I'm the whore, okay? I'm the one <laughs> that's buying what she's selling. And you know what? I've just accepted it for what it is. And I've found a way to enjoy this experience for what it is. And I have a problem. I have something wrong with my brain while where I will play vehicles that wouldn't be enjoyable if they weren't premium and giving me double rewards. But I enjoy them. The P40, enjoyable. The premium P40, the one I'll always play. Yeah, check my temperature. Oh, that is a pen going under my tongue. That's a good pen tell. That's one of mommy's pens. Okay, what's my temperature? Yeah? Okay, Dr. Guppy is put the pen back in my mouth. She's checking my temperature. Okay, check it out. Take it out. Say 98.6. Yeah, 0.6. Oh, I smell poo poo. Okay, guys. It's time for me to do a bug fix on my daughter. <laughs> There's some poop going on in that diaper, and I'm going to deal with it. I'm not going to have so many kids that I can't take care of their problems. I'm going to take care of them. But you know what? I'm not Gaijin. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I enjoyed making this video. This was something of a marathon, and it was just a chance for me to open up my brain and let things spill out the way they do. And again, this is sort of my one-way communication with you. 
uh, this is my social life. So if you'd like to join me in this experience and take our relationship to the next level, if you're a new viewer of the channel, this is like not the video to watch. You got to be bored out of your mind by now. But uh, hit me up on the Discord link in the description below and for all of you guys that are engaging there you already know that i love talking with you so i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye guppy say bye bye Daddy, I have a cough. yeah you have a cough okay say bye bye, bye, -bye. <laughs> i love you baby